No way. What the f As always, please make sure you're hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, tell the YouTube algorithm this is great content so I can keep making videos like this for you. Love your face? Now let's get into it. So, apparently we're bartenders. That's a thing now. Um, this is an interesting event that I was not seeing coming. Okay, apparently we're bartenders. Non-alcoholic bartenders because, you know, kids. So... Coffee, tea, juice, uh, a combination of them. So since this event is a little straightforward, I don't think you really need me to explain how to actually do it. So uh, I'll give you a guide here. This will be your guide to the recipes for this game. So I guess we'll start off with the coffee drinks. Uh, the first one I think is Athenium or Athenium, but it's it's nothing but pure strong coffee. It's, it's like what I drink in the morning. The three things of coffee, just like that, and then you mix it up. And why you would mix up coffee? Oh, okay, here we go. Why you would mix up coffee like this, like it's a martini, I have no idea. But that's apparently what you do. Here we go, black coffee. Why don't they just call it black coffee? I don't understand. All right, now we're going into the Golden Eden, which is two things of coffee and some milk on top, which I guess is their form of latte, except that milk looks cold. I don't know why they didn't uh, steam it. But it's okay, because it's a video game, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And here we go. This is your extra strong latte with no flavor. Very boring. Here you go. Somehow, caramel appeared on top. I don't really know how. And the Night of Swirling Stars is next. This is, uh, I guess this is more cappuccino-like. You got a shot of espresso, two things of coffee, or not coffee, milk, steamed milk. That's supposedly steamed, I'm going to guess, on top, ouch. There we go, there we go, now I'm getting my stirring going, here we go. One cappuccino coming right up, order up, order up! And next up, what do we have? Caramel pine cone. So, this, here's your caramel latte, or caramel macchiato. I'll, I'm gonna say caramel macchiato, this is your, this is what the, their version of your caramel macchiato is. So down, up, up, down, top, there we go. So, coffee, milk, and a little bit of caramel on top. Would you like some caramel drizzle on that? There you go. Order up. What do we got next coming up? Here we go, Johnny. Here it is. The Moonlit Alley. So, a mocha. I don't know why they don't just call it mocha. Ah, same thing as the as the caramel one. So you got the, the coffee, the milk, and then the, uh, the cocoa. Well, car chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate instead of caramel. But it's your basic mocha that you can order at any non-brand coffee bucks place. And last but not least, a foamy reef. So, two things of coffee, and then fizzy water. Who puts fizzy water in their coffee? Can I just ask that? Who puts fizzy water in their coffee? I could see milk, but fizzy water? I worked as a barista for years, for, for a little while, at a non-brand coffee place. That was kind of like a coffee <clears throat> bucks, but uh, you know, it's I, I can't say the, the name brand just to be safe, but I never put fizzy water in anything. Now let's go to teas, a scholar's something. So tea, tea, milk, and up, down, down, and up. There we go. Everybody loves their tea with a little bit of milk in there. There you go. Well, except for me. I like it straight. There you go. I like a nice jasmine tea, personally. I love jasmine tea. It relaxes me. All right. Golden Eden. Wait. No, that's coffee. That's a, that's a coffee. All right. Here we go. Now we're going to do tea with two things of milk. A little, little bit less strong of a tea. I don't like that one. But give me my jasmine tea just straight up anytime. I'll drink tea later. I got coffee right now. Large tea for those tea fanatics out there. There you go. Maybe this one will be an Earl Grey. Who knows? All right, we got the Boreal Watch. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Tea, milk, and mint. I don't know who puts mint in there. I guess there is a mint tea, isn't there? I think I think I think my daughter makes a mint tea. She really does like the the, the mint teas on there. So I guess this isn't as weird as I thought it was. Order up. Alright, next up, survey says, 
the laughter and cheer. I, I don't know who comes up with these names, but they're very unique. So you got your tea, you got your milk, you got your chocolate. Who puts chocolate in their tea? Is there a chocolate tea? Comment down below if there's a chocolate tea. I'd, I'd be very interested to see if people put chocolate in their tea for any reason. Or if they have a chocolate flavored tea. There we go. Order up. And up next is the tart brilliance. Got to put a little bit of lemon. There. That's normal. So you got the tea, the tea, the lemon. Kind of a lemon zinger right there. But still, I mean, I still feel like I'm making more of a martini than I am a tea. Who puts tea in that little cup and mixes it before putting it in there? There we go. That looks a little nice. I like the, the little color on top. We're into the Misty Garden, which... Okay, just three things of tea. So I guess this is uh, more of like a... I don't think it would be a London Fog. London Fog's got the got the foam milk, doesn't it? So I guess we get, I guess the one we had before, the Scholars, whatever. That's probably the London Fog. This is just straight up tea. Jasmine tea. Up. Oh, I'll take that one. Thank you. And finally on our tea list, we have the love poem. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, the love poem. So tea, milk, and a little bit of caramel. Again, I don't know who puts caramel in their tea, but you know. If you're gonna put sugar, maybe you'll put caramel in it these days. Who knows? And we're gonna put on. Is there a caramel drizzle gonna be on this one? I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. No, no caramel drizzle. That's okay. We know it's in there. Now, last but not least, well, not last, second to last. Yeah, we already did love home. Second to last, we got juices, juice mixers. We got juice. We got milk, which is an interesting combination. Just juice and milk. Who puts? milk in their juice or juice in their milk for that matter either way i don't think it's that great of a combination but you know whatever these people want it's it's to that they do their own thing they have their own laws i guess they have their own drinks too so next is that was a sweet lighter sweet cider lake now is the dawning dew juice and fizzy water I think I've heard something like this before, where people have put in fizzy water and juice. Or maybe there's a juice fizzy water somewhere out there. I feel like that's a thing. Alright, here we go. That kind of looks like OJ. Not gonna, not gonna lie, orange juice right there. Alright, Barbados Boon, which I guess is gonna be named after the, the god. We got juice, we got fizzy water, and we have mint. Nice little mint on top of there for our juices. To give it that little tang. I really don't feel like a bartender. This is more of a barista. Why didn't they call it barista challenge? Bartender makes you think alcohol. Barista makes you think like non-brand name Bucks places and whatnot. Gray Valley Sunset. Gray, the Gray Valley Sunset. That makes me think more of tea than juice, but you know. Orange Valley Sunset. That makes me think orange juice, but... To each their own. I'm, I'm not the one who made this. So, but hats off to whoever did. I mean, this isn't too bad of a, of a little mini game. And easy primo gems. Just saying. Easy primo gems. Alright, the snow covered kiss. Two juices and a milk. Here we go. And let's give it a little stir. Because we're not, we're stirring it. We ain't shaking it. This ain't James Bond territory, okay? We're dealing with coffee and juices, so it's all right. There we go. Order up. Next, we have the birch sap. Two juices and a lemon. I keep saying lime. We, we, we eat a lot of lime in my family. Lots and lots of lime. Don't have too many lemons, but a ton of limes. Like It's always on the grocery list. Lime all the time. Hey, that rhymed. Hey, lime all the time and it rhymes. All right. Order up. And then the last one is a little bit confusing because this last category are combination of drinks. First is the stroke of night, which is a combination of coffee, tea, and then milk. Which, do people do that? Does anybody actually combine their coffee and tea? Because I, I've never heard that before. It's usually one or the other. I mean, I've never put mine together. Usually it's coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. And apparently caramel drizzle just appeared on top of that one. 
And then the last is the Dusk. Tea and then juice, which I think that one isn't that much of a crazy combination. I can see somebody adding a little bit of juice to sweeten their tea a bit. And here we go. The last, but certainly not least, of all of our drink mixes. We'll put in a little small cup. There we go. Little dusk for you right there. All right. Well, good luck to all of my baristas out there. I hope these guys help you out to do this challenge a little bit easier. It's really hard to memorize these, but you got that little recipe guide in the bottom left. So good luck to you. Remember, three extra shots of vanilla, two extra shots of espresso, and don't forget to tip your baristas. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and even comment down below which recipe you think is really good, or which recipe you think is based on a real life drink, or maybe which recipe is your favorite in real life. I'm a big coffee and tea person, so those are my favorite. Jasmine tea, definitely jasmine tea, my number one. So what's your number one drink? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.